There is absolutely no reason that anyone needs a gun that is designed for only one purpose, and that is killing people. We are a society that seems to have embraced this violent culture. 34 people, at least, on average, every single day, are killed, murdered with a handgun across the United States. So we have a mass shooting every single day if they were all gathered in one place. No one wants gun violence like this. Half of the survivors that were injured the day of the January 8th shooting are gun owners. Uh, Congresswoman Giffords is a gun owner. Uh, there is not in any way the thought that we want to take everyone's guns away. But what we would like to see, and there will be legislation introduced in this new Congress, is to close the gun show loophole. You can go to a gun show, and um, at the gun show, if you're not a licensed gun dealer, uh, you do not have to put people through a background check. Some of the survivors, a couple of gentlemen that both were wounded on January 8th, went to one of the Tucson gun shows and they tested it out. The person showing the guns really wanted a sale. And so one of the gentlemen said, um, well, I have to go through a background check. And he said, no, no, you don't. And he said, well, that's a good thing because I'd never pass a background check. And the guy said, doesn't matter to me, just happy to sell you a gun. So the loophole was written really thinking of people being able to give a gun to a family member or to a neighbor that they know. So we are looking to do that. And then the second part of that is um, the states are required to turn in adjudicated um, records of those uh, considered mentally incompetent. Um, they are also required to put in criminal um, records. However, less than half the states actually comply with that. And so that is something that we're asking the president to look into, to tighten the penalties, uh, to put more teeth into that law, because obviously if somebody's records are not put in, they, they won't be caught and, and they can move from state to state. Perhaps the biggest obstacle to making changes right now in gun violence prevention is um, that for so long, the issue of guns has been taken off the table. It's something politicians are literally afraid to talk about. In order for us to solve any problem, we have to talk to each other. Ideas have to come up. We have to all be able to sit down at the table and not be afraid to put the ideas out there. And for members of Congress and um, state legislators, they have to be brave enough to bring this issue up. There is such a fear been built into people that any it's all or nothing. There can't be any middle ground. And of course, there's a huge middle ground. There's a, a middle ground of common sense. So um, I think that it is shifting. I think the political uh, landscape right now uh, gives us the opportunity to talk about it. Something that people don't often know is that um, the NRA membership does not necessarily completely sync with the NRA leadership. We have to remember the Nas National Rifle Association used to be an organization that simply gave very good gun safety training classes. Um, the political landscape that they have entered has changed all of that. and. Uh, in a polling done by a GOP pollster last May 2012, indicates that 82% of gun owners totally agree that the gun show loophole should be closed and that all guns purchased should go through a background check. 78% uh, of NRA membership also agree that all guns should go through a, gun, a, a background check. And I have discovered in just conversation with my friends that are gun owners, hunters, I was raised in a hunting family, uh, that 
many of them think that is happening now. One man came up to me uh, that I know in the grocery store and he said, you know, I, I'm an NRA member and right after Obama was elected, I got all this stuff in the mail that said that our guns would be taken away. And he said, I went out and bought a couple more guns. He said, that didn't happen, did it? And I said, no, you have to really be careful. I think we will have to look hard at ourselves as a culture, as a society, if we want to be continue to be known for freedoms without a balancing responsibility. And I think that's what has happened, is we have gotten completely out of whack where the freedom is more important than the responsibilities that go with it. I'm Pamela Simon. Please subscribe to Thinker.